In this video, I'm going to be talking about the experience that I had during the blue light surge that happened on November 18, 2023. We've had the surge that happened on November 5th, the one on the 18th. We still have the upcoming one that is to happen on November 25th. And I just have to tell you, it was a really different experience. That that first one on November 5th was pretty intense and the way that I would describe it as well as many of you that I have heard from and that I've been reading your comments about, it was a pretty intense surge at that physical level. And at that time, that's when it looked like there was this entire kind of karmic collapse that happened we're still really uh, integrating those changes and I imagine we will for months to come. But then a few days before the November 18th surge happened, the November 18th one had that theme of water, sacred water. But the blue light uh, star people kept sharing with me, it's water, but it's not water. <laughs> It's water, but it's not water. So the way that they described it was really more like a kind of a plasma type light, blue light energy that would be surging through Mesa number two, and then it would expand through the world. Now, what did I witness? Well, at first, this blue light surge kept kind of coming down to Mesa number two, but it wasn't totally penetrating that Mesa. That was a very different experience than the first one. And then suddenly I saw the blue light surge come through the right side of the Mesa as it was almost like drilling down to make the connection with the earth crust and move down into the center of the earth. And then it would kind of rise back up again. So this happened a few times of this kind of rise and then move back down through Mesa number two until suddenly I heard the words, we have contact. So it was like out there in the universe, I was hearing, we have contact. And then once that happened, there was another surge that came to the left side. Not as strong as the right, but it did make it all the way through. So what is my assumption about this? Kind of tuning in and using my ability. It's like those mesas maybe have been a bit clogged or backed off or, or kind of corked up or dammed. Uh, but as this blue light surge is coming through, kind of had to open that back up again. Now, there was a water experience that was happening. And for some of you, you made that decision to lay on the couch and just kind of be aware of your experience that was happening. Some of you listen to the blue light uh, professional recordings that I did that are free on my website. You listen to that during that surge. Others of you went swimming in water. Others of you meditated in other ways. Some of you listened to whale sounds. And remember, you can't do this wrong. There are billions of people on the planet who have no idea of the conscious awakening blue light surge that is happening right now. So let me just kind of talk a little bit more about what happened. Remember I said you can't do it wrong and everyone is going to have their own unique experience. So this is what happened uh, with myself and a small group of us that were kind of going through the experience together. So as we uh, kind of moved along in our awareness, there was a sense of going into the water. So some people chose to use their imagination to swim in the water and some chose to stay on land. And there were actually quite a few people who never even went near water in their imagination, but they did feel as if they were kind of being pulled into the earth. So remember, nobody can, can't do it wrong. Everybody will have their own experience. But there was something really interesting that I observed from that psychic clairvoyant level. I observed uh, this water and kind of going down deeper and deeper and deeper into the water. 
And soon what I was noticing was a, uh, it was almost like I could look down into the depths of the ocean and I could see like this glass dome. Now what was happening was uh, I could hear whale sounds, I could hear dolphin sounds. And so I was taken deeper and deeper and deeper into the water where there was this glass dome. And next thing I started in my imagination, started seeing mermaids and mermen. So it was like a very large under the ocean city of mer people. I could see like skyscrapers and buildings and I could see this kind of uh, many, many, like hundreds of mer people kind of swimming around. So what I figured was I was having a very colorful, imaginary experience as this blue surge was beginning to kind of flow and rock back and forth. It was like if you've ever carried a fish tank or maybe a bowl of water and you're trying to walk really carefully, but no matter how you do it, it's kind of sloshing back and forth. This is what I was noticing at that earthly level. And then I would switch back to that imaginary level. Well, then there was a point where I heard this voice say that there are some people who've gone maybe too deep or too far. So what I did was, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so going too deep and too far. So in that voice I heard in my imagination was the mer people, not the blue star people, but mer people were saying, uh, let us take you there. So I said, all right, let, let's go. Show me where they went. So as they took me past this kind of domed like city, I know this sounds really out there, but it was like I went deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And at the bottom of the deepest part of the ocean, I saw this little black hole that maybe from a distance was you know, maybe the size of a dinner plate. But as I got closer and closer, it became larger and larger. So then it was like I'm at the, this kind of doorway of this black hole and I'm hanging on to the side of it because I feel like I'm going to fall into the other side, which what I observed was like thousands and thousands and thousands of galaxies. Sorry, <clears throat> that was my grandfather clock. <laughs> okay, so what I observed was thousands of galaxies. I could see planets. I could see stars off in the distance. I could see like space dust floating around. And it was just dark, but I could see constellations. I could see the Milky Way. It was like this vastness on the other side. So then I heard the voice of the mer people say, some people have gone really, really, really far. And I said, okay, so what needs to happen? And they said, well, we're going to go get them, but we just wanted you to know uh, where they were. And then the next thing I experienced with this enormous whale, um, like a sperm whale kind of swimming past me. And the crazy part is it went swimming into the galaxies. And then it went really far until I no longer could see it. So now in my wild imagination, uh, they kind of escorted me back. Uh, they escorted me back to the top of the water uh, to kind of this opening where I kind of climbed out onto the ledge. And then this whale came to the top of the surface, opened its mouth and people came out of its mouth and onto the edge. Now there were a few people that kept, I, kept wanting to jump back into the water. It was almost like 
they felt so at home wherever they were that they just didn't want to come back again. All right, so I know that that sounds wild and crazy. However, now in all that craziness, I was reading people's comments. I, uh, the next day, got together with my group and they started sharing their experiences. And in those experiences, they remember going into the water. They remember being pulled very rapidly. And there were many of them that saw that same domed area deep under the ocean where there were a lot of mermaids and mermen. Okay, I'm a nurse. My nature is very reasonable and very practical. I don't mind playing with my imagination in my own little world, in my own little room. But this blew my mind. How could we have a similar experience? Well, there's two options here. Maybe I was having my own experience and shared my consciousness with everybody else, maybe kind of like on a computer where you can share a file with the whole office, or maybe at that other dimensional level, we were really having a similar experience. All right, so it goes beyond that because then out of these, this shared experience that I had with about, I don't know, about 70 other people, they also remember moving towards a deep, deep part of the ocean. They remember seeing this black hole and they remember going on the other side of the hole and they were in outer space. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with all of that. I have never in almost my 30 years, I have never had a shared experience in that way that was otherworldly. So we know that the celestial galactic uh, blue light surge is coming through. We do know that this blue light surge is going to dissolve all illusions. <laughs> we know that it's going to enhance truth and uplift uh, and balance justice. Uh, and it was going to raise, it is going to raise consciousness and it's going to raise and awaken us to a higher capacity of knowledge to conceive of things that we as humans have not been able to conceive of before. So having said that, is this a part of this? I'm really curious what you think. Write your opinion in the comment section. I want to hear from you. And if you had similar experiences, I want to hear from you about that as well. And if you didn't have any experience like that, but you had a totally different experience, I would love it if you would share as well because you just might have had a shared experience with other people. Now, remember where I said I hung on to the mouth of that portal. I was told it was a portal. I was told that it was a wormhole where we could travel through and move through in different dimensions and come out the other side and be in a different part of outer space. So I will say there was about a handful of maybe about 20 experiencers who said they went really far in outer space. They felt like they entered in one side and shot out the other side really far. They were never afraid they were never uncomfortable and at no point did they ever fear that they wouldn't make it back. So just wanted to share that with you all. So when they came back, they remember in some, they said they were like in the story of Jonah and the whale, they were inside a whale traveling. Now I didn't have that experience, but there's 
no part of me that can discount the experience they had. That was their experience. But this is the thing. It wasn't just like one of them felt carried in the belly of a whale. It was like many of them felt like they were being carried in an enormous whale. So remember that this blue light surge that happened on November 18, 2023, Remember, it was a water kind of theme. It was like thinking about water, sensing about water, the sacredness of water. There were going to be some light codes, awakening light codes in this water, not water, that the blue star people described it as more of a plasma. Uh, and there is, you know, so much water in outer space and that water comes from outer space it comes to the earth it's reabsorbed and goes up into the clouds and is made into rain maybe it gets picked up and it goes even further out into the atmosphere and returns to outer space i don't know it's an entirely new world that we are living in but the bottom line was whether it's real or not it was a heck of a lot of fun that's all i can say it was a lot of fun me having my own experience and all of you who had your own experience it's like we've got a lot of serious stuff going on in the world so for a just a moment in time we just had a little bit of peace as well so i just want to let you know we do have the next surge that um either depending on the release of this video is about ready to uh happen which will be cosmic or you'll be listening to it after it's happened and i'll make sure and do a follow-up video on that as well but we are also offering um our intuitive development courses we happen to have a huge cyber cell going on with our psychic mastery one program that will be happening through november 28th so check out the link below and uh Take advantage if it is right for you. If you're spiritually called, take advantage of this enormous uh, sale of over $400 on this year long program. All right, it's wonderful. Thanks, uh, wonderful to have you tune in. Thanks for sharing and continuing to share your stories and to be open to all the new ways that we are expanding in consciousness for all of humanity.